Hey everyone, got a cool one for you today. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be proving that the sum of the first n odd numbers, so 1 plus 3 and so on, all the way up to plus 2n minus 1. This is the sum of the first n odd numbers, where n is just any natural number. This is equal to n squared. That's pretty cool. Really cool result, and as it turns out, a proof by induction takes care of this pretty easily. So that's what we'll go through, but before we jump into the induction proof, uh, let's take a little visual look and we'll see why this is true, um, which will make it more beautiful to actually see a, a bit more of a visual demonstration. Sometimes induction gets kind of boring, so let's check this out. For, let's say, uh, for the first odd number, right, the sum of the first one odd numbers, that's just one. So we could just draw a dot here. Clearly, that is a square number. We could consider this the basis step of a proof, right? Um, so that's one squared. Now, once we add in the next odd number, that's plus three, right? So that's enough to sort of extend uh, both sides of our square, one, two, move it up, or extend it up and extend it to the right, and we have enough to fill in that gap. That's an extra three. That's this adding the next odd number. Now, if we add another odd number, the next odd number is five. We see adding five dots, we've got enough to extend both sides, uh, extend up and extend to the right, right? That's two, that's four, and we have that one extra to fill in that gap. One more time, we'll do it again. Uh, add the next odd number, seven. We've got enough to move up a unit to extend it upwards, that's three, and we can extend it to the right, extend the side we previously had. That's another three, that's six, so we've got one left over to fill in the square. Look at that, pretty cool. So with that out of the way, let's just jump into the induction proof. Pretty uh, crooked square there, but I hope you'll forgive my crookedness. All right, into the proof knocking my lights around a little bit. I'm not sure how well this orange marker shows up on the whiteboard. Let's give it a try and we'll see. I think it, it actually shows up pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Basis step. Uh, so we just have to show that our equality is true for n equals one, the first natural number. Really quickly too, just in case you prefer, let's write this equation uh, using sigma notation for this sum. So we could write it like this the sum of 2i minus 1 from i equals 0, excuse me, from i equals 1, that's where our natural numbers are starting, from i equals 1 all the way up to n. That would be the sum of the first n odd numbers. We see if we plug in 1, for example, we get 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1, which is 1, the first odd number. So this adds up the first n odd numbers, and it's equal to n squared. Some people prefer this notation. I kind of prefer it, depends on what we're doing. Um, I like how compact it is, if nothing else. All right, let's jump into the basis step. So again, we just gotta show the result is true for one. Sorry if you just heard that bloop sound from my computer, forgot to mute it. I'm gonna go mute it right now, cause it might bloop some more. All right, it's muted. Let's get on with the show. Okay, so for n equals one. You know, we could write this in sigma notation if we want. I kind of like that because it feels a bit more rigorous. This is the sum of 2i minus 1 from i equals 1 to 1 because n equals 1. That's just equal to 2 times 1 minus 1. We already said this. That's 2 minus 1, which is 1, which is equal to 1 squared because n equals 1 here. So our result checks out in the basis step. Cool. You know what, I'm, I typically kind of like to erase this when we move on to the induction step, so I've got more room to work, but let's see if we can fit everything comfortably uh, without erasing this. We'll move on to the induction step. Gonna write it in red. Now, of course, for the induction step, we assume that our result is true for some natural number. As I always say, that's a perfectly valid assumption because we've already shown that it is indeed true for some natural number. So it's totally okay to assume that it's true for some natural number. So we'll say suppose, which I'll abbreviate SUPP, suppose that the sum of all odd numbers from 
i equals one to n, so the sum of the first n odd numbers, let me actually change that to k, the sum of the first k odd numbers is equal to k squared for some k in the natural numbers, for some k that's an element of the natural numbers. Just assuming that our result is true for some natural number, and now we wanna use this information to prove that it's true for the next natural number. So, well, the sum that we're interested in now, the next sum, the sum of the first k plus one odd numbers is this, one plus three and so on, all the way up to 2k minus one. That's the sum of the first k odd numbers plus that next odd number two times k plus one minus one. And we want to show that this is equal to k plus one squared, right? K plus one squared. That's where we're trying to go. I think it's always helpful to keep in mind where we're actually trying to go, and we'll find that uh, it doesn't take too long to get there. So what we'll do is a little bit of substitution, right? Again, this is the sum we're interested in. This is the sum of the first k plus one odd numbers. Now, we already know something about the sum of the first k odd numbers that it is equal to k squared. So let's go ahead and do some substitution. This one plus three plus all the way up to two k minus one, that's this sum here, the sum of the first k odd numbers. Let's replace it with k squared. So this is equal to k squared. Try to stay out of the way of the writing. It's equal to k squared plus, let's go ahead and do some distribution here, plus two k plus two k plus two times one, that's plus two. And then we got that minus one at the end. And perhaps you can see what this is already, something that we should be pretty familiar with. We'll go ahead and do the two minus one. We see we've got k squared plus two k plus one. What does that look like? Well, uh, I'm sure most of us see stuff like this all the time. This is equal to k plus one squared. k plus one times k plus one. Because if you, if you square k plus one, what do you get? You get k times k, which is k squared. You get k times one plus one times k, which is two k, and you get one times one, which is one. And that's the proof. Really easy induction proof. I said in one of my last uh, videos on an induction proof that it was as easy as an induction proof as you would ever see. That might have been a lie, because this one might actually be easier. This one's really straightforward. So, a really cool result. To me, uh, square numbers always felt like they had this sort of evenness to them, you know? Perhaps I feel that way because a number to an even power is a square. But we see here this really cool uh, connection between odd numbers and perfect squares. So I think it's really cool, and I hope this video helped you understand the result and how to prove it. And again, remember, n is a natural number here. We're talking about the sum of the first n odd numbers for natural number n, and it's equal to n squared. Pretty cool. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math lessons on the internet.